Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 Review stuff. And I'm back. Put that away. I'm back for another review of some ice cream. Y'all listen, I know that you want me uh, sitting in the kitchen in that window with all the brightness. What is going on with this light? It's horrible in here, isn't it? But I am too tired. <laughs> I am too tired. I stayed up way late last night. Only uh, Murders in the Building started again on Hulu. So I watched uh, the first two episodes that are out of Only Murders in the Building. Boo Radley is like climbing up the stairs. What are you doing, Boo Radley? <laughs> He's like sneaking up. He's the Only Murders in the Building. Anyway, um, I watched the first two episodes of Only Murders in the Building. And then um, I have been watching Servant on Apple TV. Y'all watch this show. This show is so spooky strange. I don't even know what to think of it. But anyway, so uh, I watched like, I don't know, like three or four episodes or maybe more than that of that servant show. I, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. It like kind of weirds me out, but I feel like I have to find out what's going to happen. So I keep on watching it anyway. So anyway, I went to bed very late last night and I'm so tired today. But anyway, when you must do a review video, you must do a review video. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, no, I'm just joking. But anyway, I've been wanting to try these for a while now. I've had these in my freezer for a while. And these are, hold on just a second. Up, up, up. The light's gonna get better. Okay, there it goes. These are the Root Beer Float Vanilla Ice Cream and Root Beer Dessert Bars. Okay, here, let's do a little bit of a thumbnail. <laughs> okay, and I got these at Trader Joe's, of course, because y'all know I love Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. So anyway, I got these at Trader Joe's. My cousin Caroline was like, you love root beer. You should get these. These would be so fantastic. And I do. I love root beer so much. When I was a little kid, my mom and I used to make, well, she would make uh, those tin roof sundays. Tin roof. Busted. Is it busted or rusted? Tin roof. Rusted. It's rusted is what it is. Anyway. <clears throat> See, I'm like adjusting the light. Look, I'm so technological. <gasps> Wherever I put the computer screen is basically, this is just a computer screen. <gasps> you guys didn't even know, did you? Okay, I'm so technolo technological. But anyway, okay. So when I was a little kid, my mom and I, we used to make a lot of ice cream treats. We'd make milkshakes. I put instant coffee in it and all kinds of stuff in the Hershey syrup. Hershey syrup. But we used to also do, well, we would make two kinds of uh, floats. We would do root beer floats, which were our absolute favorites. We loved those so much. And then we'd also do Werner's Ale floats. Okay, now before all you people panic, okay, and you're like, oh my God, Peter's mother was giving them alcohol. She was giving them ale. I said in a video like a year ago, I said that we went to these Halloween pumpkin lights or something at the art museum, and I said, Melissa and I had apple cider. Are you an apple cider? You're sober. Oh my God, you had apple. Yes, people have apple cider. It's hot apple cider, okay, with some spices in it. There's no alcohol in it. I'm sorry to tell you. I know you want to come. And oh my God, you had apple cider. Verner's ale is basically like ginger ale, okay? And so my mom and I sometimes would put ginger ale in a glass and then we would put scoops of vanilla ice cream in it. Oh my God, it's so good. So anyway, try it, okay? But we would also have, make root beer floats. We loved root beer floats. Now, they, and my cousin Caroline, she knew that. And they have these root beer float bars. So I was like, well, of course I have to have these. Okay. And then it says, six, I don't know what these two little red things are right here. Are they supposed to be cherries on top? You don't put cherries on top of a root beer flow, Trader Joe's. You're so stupid. Anyway, it says six bars. Keep frozen. Okay. <laughs> okay, keep frozen. A soda fountain fa a soda fountain favorite, fantastically frozen on a stick. These brilliant bars will bring you back to sunny afternoons spent relishing in root beer float bliss. Oh my. <laughs> oh my, what days those were of root beer bliss. Root beer, was it root beer float bliss? Oh my, what days those were. Okay, those root beer bliss days will bring you per serving, serving size is two bars. Oh, two bars. Okay, 230 calories. Total fat is 10 grams of fat. Cholesterol is 45 milligrams. Sodium is 40 milligrams. Total carbs are 32 grams. Total sugars are 29 and protein is three. I think it's kind of a pretty box, don't you think? I mean, even though that doesn't really matter. There's another thumbnail for you. Oh my god! I can 
just looking at camera and come up with thumbnails all day long. <laughs> Somebody said my thumbnail yesterday where I was holding those boxes. I was, I was like, <laughs> and they said that was really cute. But anyway, I think it's kind of vintage looking, the box. All right, let's try these. You ready? Okay, these better be good. I think they're going to kind of taste like dream sickles a little bit, but with root beer instead. So when you open it, this is what they look like. Okay, we're going to take the one on the end. This is what they look like. Ooh, it's already melting. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Don't mind all that freezer burn on it. Ooh, she smells like a root beer smelly sticker. No, she, it does smell like root beer though. These are kind of one of those you don't want to bite in right away because you know you're going to get free, you know you're going to get brain freeze. But you kind of have to because it's a review video and you don't want to make people wait for 15 minutes so you can eat the whole thing. There is a really, really strong root beer taste on these. I love root beer so much. I would say it's more of kind of like... Um, the Mugs or Dad's root beer and not so much the A&W is what I would say. Oh, she do taste like a root beer float. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I'm so good. I'm so impressed. Delicioso. Freezer burn. The ice cream is really good inside of it, too. So, okay. It 100% tastes like a root beer float. Absolutely. It even kind of like has like a whipped cream kind of taste to it if you put whipped cream in your root beer float. It tastes so much like a root beer float. If you guys have never had a root beer float and you kind of want to know what these taste like, it does taste like a dream sickle, except instead of it being orange on the outside, it's root beer. But there's something about the ice cream the ice cream even tastes kind of more of like the mix that you get when you mix it with root beer in a glass. I don't even know how they achieved, I don't know how they achieved that, but. I'm really impressed with these. Very, very good. Okay. You know, in all honesty, I was so disappointed in those ice cream cones today reviewed from Trader Joe's the other day. But in all honesty, I can't really think of anything. The root beer taste is really strong. It doesn't taste fake. It tastes straight up like a glass of root beer. The ice cream is very creamy. It tastes kind of like there's some whipped cream in it. I don't think there's anything I would change about this. I would give these a 10 out of 10. These are fantastic. And for the price, you can't beat them. Trader Joe's are like $3 or something, $3.59 or $3.49 or something like that. I love them. Anyway, if you've tried these, let me know in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.